Remember that, guys. Whether you have a sickness or not, this is still an organ that needs to be taken care of just like this, just like your belly, just like your eyeballs, just like your skin. It's an or Your brain is an organ that needs care. I've just now realized how red the lighting makes me look so I'm probably gonna look red in this entire vlog I'm sorry um, but it's Monday happy Memorial Day um, I'm packing up my stuff to get ready to head back home um, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is we're having a huge cookout with a bunch of people from the church so a lot a lot of people and last night like after being around so many people at the con just my mental energy went went into a depressive episode I could not just even think of doing anything couldn't eat um, I couldn't really be around everybody just, just sitting there but then we watched Moana and that was sort of helpful Moana is a good movie by the way guys um, so yeah now I'm just going home getting ready to go home I'm excited to go home. I want to see my little boy. And, yeah. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Hey, guys. So, I got my beautiful little boy with me. And Miss Sassy Girl sleeping on the bed. And the sheets are a different color. Apparently, my god sister and a friend of her spent the night in my room. And I never knew that. But I'm back home. Yay. Um. Whew. Mentally, I'm completely worn. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I had to feed the dogs and then get something for me to eat. Um, I've been wanting to vlog most of the day today, but my brain has been just... I don't know how to describe it, really. I guess it's like still in recovery mode. Because if you've been to like, even if it's not been a con, if you've been to a huge event with a lot of people... Of course, you're going to get wore out pretty easy. Um, and of course, I know I get worn out a lot when I'm at conventions. But I love being there. I love the costumes. I love people loving my costumes. It's great. Um, only downsides is, one, when I'm at the cons, I forget to eat. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to drink anything. So I'm like, that's part of why I get so exhausted when I leave. Because I'm like, oh, my blood sugar is low, buddy. <laughs> Not that I have issues with, like, diabetes or anything, but, like, you can just tell when you really haven't eaten anything. And then, it's like your body was so used to the high amount of endorphins and low amount of food that you just don't want to eat. So, like, last night I didn't eat, like, I got back to the house, like, where Caitlin and her friends are at, at around th maybe four. Four, and I didn't eat dinner until 9.30 because I just could not eat and then you know I'm taking a shower and you know singing a little song doing a little dance doing all good and then it's just like boom brain hit a wall I was like I'm mentally tired guess what the day has been Raven so I'm like oh so now and today on top of this mental exhaustion my sinuses are acting up again, if you can't tell by the sound of my voice. Where it's just like, hey, you know, you did take meds and stuff like that, but let's remind you that you have not, that your sinuses aren't feeling that good. So, it's been kind of hard to think coherently, let's be honest, because of just how exhausted I am. Um, it's also raining outside, if you can't tell. Listen. It's nice. Um, the Memorial Day cookout was today, and I managed to sleep through the entire thing. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was going to, you know, pick myself up and be like, Raven, you got to go out there. I saw people in the beginning, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go inside, take it like a 30-minute nap. An hour later, <laughs> um, the party was over, and I got to say hi to more people, hang out with some people, 
And then the rest of my time was spent on my bed watching YouTube videos. Because I've got like a long watch later list and I don't like it long. Of course, Sassy was napping on my bed. She wanted to be near me, so I picked her up and put her on the bed. Emerel was there, but he's not there right now. He's downstairs hanging out with my parents and Riddler. And Riddler was hanging out with the parents. Um, but yeah. Despite my brain kind of not feeling like it's functioning. <laughs> it gave me inspiration to make a video for Close Enough Cosplay about how to take care of your mental health when you're at cons. I nearly considered it for pressing the painting button, but I wanted to be specifically for cosplay cons. And I know that not everybody here even understands what it is. So, whenever I do make that video, I'll let you guys know if you're interested in watching it. Because I'm wanting to talk about how to take care of your mental health before, during, and after the con. Because especially since my mental health took a decline, and I got a pretty bad depressive episode, to where I was in a basement, curled under a blanket that was way too hot and I was just staring I couldn't even think to get up I couldn't even think period I could not be with anybody I couldn't eat anything I was just laying there and then I ended up sleeping but I want to make a list of just some things of you know how to take care of yourself because even though you're out there having a good old time your mental health is still very important and that's something I have to remind myself all the time. And if you have a mental illness, it's especially important. But of course, mental health is important for everybody. Remember that, guys. Whether you have a sickness or not, this is still an organ that needs to be taken care of. Just like this, just like your belly, just like your eyeballs, just like your skin. It's an or Your brain is an organ that needs care. Especially needs more care because it's such a weird, complex thing. It's like a pilot to this meat plane. I know, it's weird. My mind is going weird, as usual. So now, I think what I'm going to do is try to work on the vlog from this past weekend. I was going to put this footage up then, but then I decided not to, so... I'm going to get Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's vlogs together. Though, let's face it, they're all pretty short. I'm just going to add a lot of pictures, because MomoCon was fun. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! So now I've got the whole puppy crew here. We got Mr. Amarill, we got Mr. Riddler, and we got Miss Sassy Girl. Oh, and let me just tell you guys how much I love this dog. He is the best. But, I mean, even more than that, like, if you guys couldn't already tell from my vlogs, my brain was not really feeling the absolute 100% greatest. Right now, it's still not 100% there yet. It's probably in the 90s, but it's doing better. Because probably earlier today, it was probably around 60, 70, it really wasn't there. But, Amarel has been amazing for me. And he didn't even have to do any service dog type tasks. He just had to be there for me. Like, just the fact that he would lay by me. Or like, lay his head on my foot. Or just something to remind me that, he, that I am here, Mommy. I am here with you. Just... It really helped me feel a lot better. Um, and I saw something on Tumblr that inspired me. I may make a self-care kit. I don't know if I'll have all the stuff in it that it suggests, but I may look at some and get it some ideas and maybe make my own for whenever days are bad, especially if I'm traveling and I don't have MRL with me. I know one day he will be with me, but for right now, he can't. <clears throat> Like, I'm hoping by Momocon next year he can come to Momocon. But I knew this year he was not ready. And I was not going to subject him to the high amount of stress that Momocon has. I mean, he's okay-ish in public. <clears throat> but he's never been to a non-pet friendly place yet. And you know, some people, of course, will bring their dogs just to say, Hey, it's a service dog. Which, I did see one service dog, but I'm pretty sure it was a legit dog. Like, it was behaving well, but then again, can you really tell? Um, but yeah, I knew MRO wasn't ready. It would have stressed him out more, but hopefully next year he will be ready. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, just gotta make a to-do list of what to do tomorrow. 
Because there's some stuff I need to do, like laundry and vlog and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, whether you have one or not, if you had a self-care kit with you right now, and there were three things you could put in that kit for you, what would it be? What are the top three things you need? For me, what, what, I, what I would need is probably music, my anti-anxiety essential oil, and some kind of toy to mess around with, like a fidget cube or something. So put your answers down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, my little angel. Good night, really. Also an angel. And good night, the most important angel of all, Miss Sassy Girl.